All the seven says, have you written your autobiography yet, Lord McClure? Do you think I should write one, Glenn? I think you definitely should, Scotty. Okay. Yeah. Scotty, have you're you, a top you dog. Tried? I thank you, isn't. Have you had an author? Have you had somebody try to set you one up before, Scotty? No, or? not well. Somebody said they would be quite interested in writing it. You know what I mean? But I mean, poor soul. Yeah. They'd have to listen to a lot of stuff. Oh come on! It'd be brilliant, won't it? Do you know? I mean, I think I mean I think some of the people I've met and and some of the yeah. people, some of the things that I've I've seen. You know, I mean, I've been very very lucky boy, but I was very you young. Out, you know, you won't miss out on local radio and all that. Would you put all that in? Would you? I would put a bit of that in local radio, local television, newspapers, yeah. online, the show from the website, having our own forum. Our own forum was brilliant. Long before you had the likes of your social media, we had a forum. The local, the local radio was just another level, Scotty, to be fair, wasn't it? It's another level, isn't it? It's quite I fantastic. Just, I mean, YouTube, all your archives on YouTube, oh, it, it just sums you up, doesn't it? Well, that thing the other day, as I say, when I looked at it, me sin, 118,000 a half hour. Fantastic. I mean, that's that's quite that's a lot of people. You know, if they if they all come into your shop, I used to say that to advertisers. They'd say, "Oh, not sure about putting me advert on your show. Some of the stuff you come out with." I said, "Excuse me, can I ask you a personal question?" And you would see the yeah. salespeople get very anxious. I would say, "Are you completely and utterly around the twist?" What did you say? And they would go, "Oh, well, well, I'm not going to be advertising if you're talking to." I said, "Right, no, no." There's a reason for me talking to you like that. I said, let's yeah. have a little look at the numbers. Ooh, I should be putting my advert on there, shouldn't it? You certainly should. Nice one. You know, and they would and they would go away thanking me. Hey, Scotty, it's been great to meet you. I, yeah. I'm sorry if I were a bit off for you there. No, I said, you're absolutely fine. I said, I just want the best for you. And if I can do you 118,000 a half hour, you imagine if they come into your shop and the one day, could you serve them all? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Do you know, I used to say, um, and then the advertising went up and up and up. It is a pity, though, that you can't be like you used to be, though, you know, like it used to be back in the day kind of thing. Well, nothing's the it's same as it was back in the day, you know what I'm it's saying? A shame. It's a shame, you get what I'm saying, though, don't you? Of so course I get what you're saying, you know, but I mean, nothing's the same back in the day, you know? You, you look at that with a prime of your career. That was a prime, that way, not it? That's right. But you see, there's Ethan there. Love your content. You were at your prime in that when you were doing radio and that back in the day. Oh, right. Well, yeah. We're giving out them all a right good telling off, yeah? You, you were, but we'll get back to that. Remember, we're only starting, Glenn. 